Canva is a super easy to use online design tool that is perfect for teachers. In this Canva tutorial for teachers, I'll show you how to make a worksheet on Canva Pro. Let's get started. I'm Jamie from ESL Teacher 365. I teach both abroad and online, and I love using Canva to create materials for my classes. I have some more Canva tutorials for teachers planned, so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. Let's look at how to make a worksheet on Canva using one of Canva's templates. The first thing you're going to do is type in worksheet in the search bar. Then you'll see a lot of different templates. So you can scroll through these and obviously you're going to customize them to fit the needs of your students, but you can use them as inspiration and a place to start. So click on the template you want to use. You'll also see in the For You, you have some recommended ones that are similar. So I'm going to actually use this one. You can zoom in or out. Here I'm just erasing some of the information. Maybe I don't want to include the teacher or the grade because I just have one class. And you can click and drag over multiple elements and resize them, which is really nice and fast. I want to change this to say all about me, you'll see that that first all gets dark. That happens with some of the fonts. So just go in and type it back and you can erase that dark part. I'm not sure why those fonts do that. Here I'm just changing what the information is. So maybe I don't want to know about the toy or game, but their hobby. So you can just click and then edit whatever you want to type in. Here I'm going to change the font. So just click on it and then you'll see lots of different fonts on the side. You can also import your own fonts if you have the pro version. You can change it to bold, change the font, the size, and there's a lot of different fun effects for the fonts, which is really nice. You can really customize it. I'm going to end up changing the background color. So whenever you want to change a color, you're just going to click on that color. Then you'll see these little boxes and it allows you to change the color. So if I'm printing this, I probably want it to be mostly white. So that's why I'm adding some gray in to replace the yellow and blue. And then most of it is white. You can change the color of a lot of these little clip art elements as well. Some of them you can't change, but a lot of them you can customize, which is really nice. So just play around. You can move things around. And then at the top, you can rename it. So whatever you want to save the file as. And then you'll click the download button. So you do have a few different kinds of things. You can use PNG or JPEG, PDFs, all sorts of different stuff. So select what you want, press download, and you're ready to go. To get access to thousands of templates and millions of images and videos, check out my link down below for a one month free trial of Canva Pro. Now let's take a look at how to make a worksheet on Canva using elements. If you don't want to use a template, you can click on create a design. You'll have a lot of different examples of different things that you can make. I'm going to choose A4 document. I'm going to create a student of the week worksheet. So I'll type that in at the top. You do have some templates on the side, which you can use, but for this example, we're going to use elements. So click on elements and take a look at what you can use. Let's start with shapes. So you can click on whichever shape you want to use, and then you're just going to drag it onto the paper. And you'll see this little pink line comes across and down and it helps you kind of center your images, which is really nice when you're designing something on your own. So you can change the color and I can add text. So here's some kind of more fancy text or you can use different headings. These I have preloaded into Canva, but you can choose whatever font that you would like. So I'm just going to type in student of the week, resize it and put it at the top of my worksheet. I'm going to go back to the elements and choose some other elements to use. 
So if you want to copy something, you can click on it, press copy, and then control V to copy it on over. And you do have these helpful lines. So I've added some different shapes and I'm gonna change the color to make it a little bit more printer friendly. I can add some text. We'll zoom it in a little bit more so I can see it better. So if you want to make it bigger, you can use this plus button or you can just drag it to make it bigger or you can click on the number and make it bigger as well. So you can also just copy the font so you have the exact same size. So here's an example of how I've used the fonts. The last thing that I'm going to do is add a line where the students can write their name. So I'm gonna type in line and then I have some different options. So I'll take a look at this one. And if I click on this line, I can resize it, but I can also change the line weight so I can make it thicker or thinner. I can also change the style, so solid line or dotted. So if you want to add anything extra, for example, just some stars, just write in whatever you think you would like to add in terms of clip art and you can add it to your worksheet. Again, you can copy these on over. You can also flip them. So if there's something facing one way and you want it the other way, it's really easy to flip the elements. So I decided against the stars in the end, so just choose what you would like to print as or to save as and download. Do you prefer to use templates or create your own unique materials? Leave a comment down below. Canva Pro is a great tool for teachers because you can create so many different kinds of materials. I hope this video inspires you to give Canva a try. For more teaching tips and tricks, make sure to follow my blog and Instagram at ESLTeacher365. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Happy teaching.